Well, I mean, I don't know. Well, isn't it? Maybe because it was of Celeste. Celeste. All along. All right, well, with Celeste, who was it that had a thing with Celeste? Was it Matt or um, e. Andrews? It was Matt. It was Matt. Okay, and they I mean, had a like, thing, and then and then she killed herself, and then he's holding, and then Matt's holding this whole grudge against Juan, and this is my theory, and then because the the portrait in the room, it's uh -huh. Celeste. Yeah. So that gives you a motive. And there was also the, the secret, by the way, too, which is what I yeah. was talking about here. Yeah, I know all of that makes sense. I just find it strange that uh, the killer would need to prove to Matt that he did it. Uh, I... Wait, what? The whole idea that that's coming to mind about the killer wanting the acquittal is he needs to prove it to whoever hired him, which would be mad. Right. right. Yeah. So the whole the whole deal is his whole plan would have worked out if Miss Andrews did not take the card. The card being taken from the scene of the crime ruined the whole idea of him being the one to be blamed for the murder. So now it fell on to um Ungarde? Wait, no. Fuck, what's the... What's yeah, it the, fell... Ungarde, is that it? Yeah. Uh, who, who's the one who died? Juan's what the one who died. Juan, oh, okay, wait. Juan Rita. died, okay. All right, so now... He wants an acquittal for his employer. Yeah, because the card was taken, because, so it fucked the whole yeah. thing up. If if the card had been there, then it would have been, oh, hit, this was a hitman. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was confused for a moment. I was thinking that Andrews was the one who was being accused in the first place. She no, was not. It, yeah, yeah okay. she's not. Yeah. Never mind. So... In the end, it all makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Ungarde actually might not just be this innocent surfer dude after all. Possibles. Who knows, man? We'll see. We'll see. Because we will find out tonight on Late Night with Cry and Russ. Please, Hi, I'm Pearl. Russ. Hey, Bray, what's up, Russ? Please, Pearl, let us continue. Mr. Ungard's secret. What is his secret? I don't know yet, Pearls. But for now, let's think about it this way. Mr. Karita was going to reveal this secret, but that means Mr. Ungard had plenty of motive to have Mr. Karita silenced. No, oh, dude, I'm fucking so innocent, bro. Uh... <sighs> Which means we have to meet Mr. Uh, we meet with Mr. Ungard, eh? There's no way around it now. Alright, so we gotta go force our way in there to jail. We gotta get ourselves arrested so we can go talk to him. That's what we're gonna do. Alright, let's move our butts. So, oh, hallway, there is action. Never mind. March 22nd, Gatewater Hotel Hallway. Wow, it's really getting late, isn't it, Mr. Nick? Yeah, it's past 9 p.m. already. But we still have some things to prepare for tomorrow's trial. There's still the matter of the secret Mr. Karita held about Mr. Ngarde. I have a question. Where the fuck does Pearls sleep? On the couch in the office. Oh, okay. Just... I don't. <laughs> she just stands there all night. Upside down in the closet. <laughs> And Miss Ker Andrews' real intentions. These are two things I must know tonight. But aren't visiting hours at the detention center over? Hmm. I'm sure we'll think of something, Pearls. Don't you worry. There's action everywhere. Is there? Yolo. Yeah, action all the way to the freaking place. Let's go, baby. Why should we sit and get around with the whole wheel? Hey! Wait! Later, no. <laughs> Ziggs, did you fall asleep on us? Ziggs! Give him a poke. Him what a poke. is it with the snapper? Good. Stop poking me. All I know is nothing that has anything to do with you is ever good. 
like just now, I was handed this strange device for who knows what reason. And I was told to use it to search the whole hotel. That's the bug sweeper, isn't it? The one Gumshoe made. I don't know, and frankly, I don't care. But the request came from Edgy so. Edgeworth. And he said, If you feel angry, direct your anger at that unsophisticated lawyer chump. <laughs> Thanks, Edgeworth. So, I'm going to feel free to direct all my anger towards you. Ugh, gee. Thanks, Bundle Edgeworth. What a pal you are. You're welcome. God, oh, what a dick. Let's talk. Talk about the bug sweeper. This is absolutely top secret, so you had better keep it to yourselves. I heard they found a spy camera hidden in one of the prisons. We found it! Huh, very interesting. I'm sure it was, you know. It was to catch poor Juan in the middle of a scandalous meeting. Scandalous. What's that? It means, oh, you know, that gossip that's going on around about my dear Juan. Oh, you mean that thing with Miss Andrews and stuff? But I'm sure she must have had some reason for getting close to Mr. Corita outside of his giant dong. Magnum Dongus. Magnum Dongus. I'll let you in on another secret, young and I know who planted that spy camera. It was me! I mean, it was that obnoxious, puffy haired photographer girl. The nerve of some people. Spying on people by herself? As if I wouldn't want to see it for myself, too. <laughs> wow! The alien actually admitted her true intentions for a change. I don't know what you're thinking exactly, but I can bet it's nothing good. But it is saying anything. Juan and Adrian. So you want to know about Juan and that manager, right? Actually, as I hear it, there was something of a refreshing pair those two. Oh? I tell you. Juan really welcomed that manager with open arms, I heard. That manager? Who are you talking about? You don't know? That manager woman Juan had. Rep. It's a shame she killed herself, though. Oh, you're talking about Miss Select Stim Paxson. Miss Aid Andrew's mentor, right? Yes, yes, that's the one. That's Celeste girl. She was supposed to get married, you know. M married? You mean to Mr. Corita? Uh, really? You young kids today don't know anything, do you? That girl, Celeste, killed herself three days after their marriage announcement. She realized what a huge mistake she made. Three yep. days after their marriage announcement. What in the... There's other means, man. Celeste is... Why would Miss Impact want to kill herself? She was going to get married. Well, that's because... She caught the clap, you see. By Juan. What? But... They used protection, right? They promised each other, right? They had a grand announcement session, but... Three days later, Juan suddenly cancelled their marriage. Uh, is that true? It was in the weekly magazines. But why? Why did he do that? 
That was not in the magazines, unfortunately. I see. That night, after Juan called off the wedding, that manager, Celeste, killed herself. How terrible. I wonder what happened between those two. Alright, well. Bye, old bag. Bye. Bye. Back off. Oh, the hotel lobby is action. God, we just want to get to fucking Ungarde. March 22nd, Gatewater Hotel, Hotel Lobby. We might get shot on the way there. Fuck. On that night, there must have been at least a few hundred people here. Huh. I guess the police are done with their questioning and investigating. It looks like things here in the lobby are finally calmed down. Okay. Well. Good action. Bye. Um. Where? Wrinkle offices. Oh, action here too! Shit! March 22nd, rank of offices! <laughs> it doesn't look like Mr. Scruffy Detective is here. Well... He's out there with that camera asking around at all the electronic stores. Then I'll make some salad for him for dinner. It looks like Pearls really appreciates what Gumshoe's doing for us. Um, Mr. Nick? Yo, uh, um... Where's the lettuce? I... I don't think I've ever bought lettuce before. I guess I will have to give up on making a salad then. Guess the lack of lettuce is a kind of a problem. Well, that makes the whole conversation sad. Well, sorry Pearls, I made you sad. Let's go to the detention center. Pick up some lettuce on the way back. March 22nd, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Visiting hours ended a few hours ago. Looks like we're not gonna be getting a chance to talk with Mr. Ungar tonight. But, isn't what we have to ask very important? Yeah, but I don't think that matters to the guard. Unless we pay him. I don't... Criminal Affairs Department? Action here too! March 22nd, Police Station. Criminal Affairs Department. It feels sort of ensign here, doesn't it, Mr. Nick? Yeah, it does. I wonder if something happened. Who is the chief? I'm gonna assume it was Jund. Oh, alright. You're Mr. Ingard's lawyer, right? <laughs> yes, sir! Well, we finally found just the person we've been looking for. A real decisive witness. A decisive witness? You mean for Mr. Ingard's case? We're taking the witness statement right now. Gotta hand it to Mr. Edgeworth. What's Edgeworth up to now? Well, that was spoken in my head. You he didn't hear that. Who is this witness? I think you know this person quite well, Mr. Lawyer. Mr. Nick. Between the kidnapper's demand and now this, I can't see any way to win here. Oh, yeah. Mr. Edworth wanted me to tell you something. He did. Even though visiting hours are over at the detention center, he wanted me to grant you still permission, so there you go.
Also, <laughs> if it's Lada, I'm gonna be so sad. I've already called them so they know. Go on, talk to your hot tent. Thanks. So, I want to know just how deep Edgeworth is in everything he has. He's got like, favors out the ass with everybody. He knows about a special ops team. <laughs> <laughs> also, well, wasn't, SWAT. He, wasn't he made chief prosecutor at the end of the last one? He was, yeah. But he did just like leave for a year and now he just do that and still have your job. Dude, Edgeworth is boss. That's it. Well, I mean, he had a record before we ruined it. Exactly. Oh. Uh, and we're gonna be big boss. That's all it is. This is such good news, Mr. Nick. Pretty. Go talk to your heart's content. A lot of heart. Oh, great. It sounds like the police are pretty sure they have tomorrow's trial in the bag. Great. Fucking lot of heart. Let's go to the detention center. None what? of that shit. Wait a second. Detention center? I, mean, I got still plenty of time left on my body. I'm sure they must have transferred Miss, eh, Miss Andrews here by now. So that means that both Mr. and Guard and Miss Andrews are in this detention center. Now then, whose story do I want to hear? I would say Matt and Guard is. Right? I abstain from this vote. Okay. Well, Matt and Guard it is. Duder, it's Mr. Wright! Hope you can get me off the hook tomorrow. I'm counting on you. Well, I hope so too, you potential murderer. Hedgeworth just dropped a bombshell on me and said that Juan Carita was killed by an assassin, and that assassin's client is this man, Mad on Guard. What's wrong? Uh, Mr. On Guard. There's something I must know with 100% certainty. Oh, you seem kind of different. You're totally not like yourself, usual lawyer dude self, dude. Well, anyway, let's talk about your secret. So, about the press conference. You mean the one where Juan was going to dress up as the Nickel Samurai? Yeah. Uh, I heard a little more about it from Miss Andrews. Cat. Uh. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. Kitty cat. Cat, cat. Meow. Cat, what? cat. Meow. What? It, it's your go. Cat, cat. Cat. What happened? Oh my god, cat, are cat. you not following along? I was talking to him and then I don't know what happened. Where did we go? It, what do you want right now? We talked to him. Oh, Matt's secret? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I don't know how you manage this. I was still in the introduction part. Oh god. I already fucking read this part! What? It's the same exact scene as before. What are you? What? What are you talking uh, about? The previous flashback that she had to read was the exact. It's the same, same exact one. fucking sentence. Yeah. yeah, well, you gotta do I'm it again. I'm not reading that again. Do it again. I've already skipped it. I don't know what it says. <sighs> well, looks like I'll just be you. <clears throat> well, it looks like somehow Juan had his hands <laughs> on a secret wow, so powerful. Wow. Are there two shines in here? That would destroy math act. Career had it been revealed. Veal, veal, veal. Also, some type of horrible cold going on. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please fill me in on what this secret is, please? Uh uh. Ugh, look at uh. those chains! Holy shit. Those Fine. locks, those oh my locks. My god. Those are so many locks. 
Deep seed secret. I knew this was coming. Mr. Nick, don't tell me. A psyche lock. You said a secret, right? But you don't have any idea what it is, do you, Duder? Well, that's why I'm here to talk. Let's talk about Juan and Adrian. Did you know about Mr. Coretta and Miss Andrew's relationship? Well, it's over the tabloids, Duder. But... I don't know any details if you know what I mean, bro. Look, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't care what Juan did with his life. Miss Only that I ended it. <laughs> yeah, good one, bro. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> 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 what the fuck is wrong with you? It's gonna be a long night. Miss Andrews! She had a purpose in mind when she started seeing Mr. Karita. Her mentor was Mr. Karita's manager, and Miss Andrews was going to get Miss Celeste and Pax's suicide note from him. Celeste... Uh, Does that jog any memories? Um, let me call my manager. Dude, I suddenly got just got totally hungry. You offer some pizza? My treat. Yes. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Um, Mr. Nick, what's a pizza? Is it the kind of pea, green peas? God, no wonder why you're like skin and bones. Shit. Let's go eat some later, okay? Ah, I got cut off by the pizza dude at the shop. That's just too bad. Well, how about we just go get our minds off the topic and talk about something else, okay? <laughs> Mr. Ungarde, are you connected to Miss Unpax's suicide in some way? Can't read your mind. Maybe. Wish we had that power. Make this thing so much easier. God. All right. Well, should we Monado this man? We should indeed Monado this man. Uh, wait. How do we do this again? Present. We just Monado. present the Monado. Okay. Present Monado. Present Monado. I like how the guard inverts. It's great. Mm -hmm. No, so, it's a recolor, bro. Oh, right, my bad. The original character. That's the SSJ5 right there. Yeah. <laughs> that secret. Now, let's hear what this secret of yours is. What if Mr. Karita had planned, or had been successful in his plan? What would he have disclosed? I don't. I told you before, dude. I don't know. I don't know anything about Juan. Okay. Look, Mr. Wright. I can keep saying until I'm blue in the face, but I totally didn't pay Juan any attention the whole night. Okay. I mean, come on. I was in the middle of a nappers. Don't lie to me. Huh? I know you paid close attention to Mr. Corita, especially on that night. Now I have no fucking clue. Oh man. I got no oh, none. I got zilch. Maybe we were supposed to talk talk to what's your face first, huh? Yeah, I know. Cause we can switch back and forth apparently, so like we could go do that right now. Cause I don't know what we could even give. Yeah. I don't know what we could present them, so we'll just stop it for now. Stop that. I don't think I have enough evidence. Bye. So should we move and then move back, I guess? That we do? Uh, maybe... Let me try. Right in the offices and then going back to the detention center. Now then, whose story do I want to hear? Adrian Andrews. Hey, Adrian. Zero Suit Samus. One. You let it make way just so I can say, oh, it's you. Yep. I'm sorry to be visiting at such a tower. 
But there are a few questions I absolutely have to ask you. I thought your client was a man. I'm sure Miss Andrews knows <laughs> something. I she hate. can't be clueless about this secret Mr. Corita has on Mr. Ungarde. Let's talk about Matt Ungarde. I'd like to ask you about Matt Ungarde, if you don't mind. Mr. Wright, you still don't know, do you? The real him, I mean. Ellipses. You seem to bear a lot of resentment towards Mr. Ungarde. That's not even funny, because he's not the one who has all the bears. <laughs> if that's the case, then why don't you just become a, a paw manager? <laughs> I'm out of here. I refuse to keep doing this. Why if you would act you like this. become intimate with his couple? <laughs> his what? Double. I, I refuse. I'm done. I'm closing the game. I'm honestly done. <laughs> that has nothing to do with this game. <laughs> I can't tell if he's laughing or just sobbing quietly. <laughs> little bit of A, little bit of B. <laughs> so, so, so you, you can read the lines? What what's going on right now? I'm so I'm so confused. I, I, there's more lines. You already read it. Oh okay. Let's talk about Celeste Impacts. About Miss Celeste Impacts. I had finally put her death behind me. And now, thanks to you, it's all come back to the surface. Yes, I was shocked by her suicide, and it's true that when I heard the rumor, Juan was the one who had hidden a side note, I began to draw close to him. I wanted to get her suicide note. Burn it. You wanted to burn it? But why? I didn't want it to spread like just another piece of gossip. But, I never held any murderous intent towards Juan. I never do some things. The suicide note, huh? I wonder what it said. Why frame him? Why didn't you try to frame Mr. Ungarde? Well, kill her. I. You're cutting out, by the way. Do Am I? Yeah, you should probably like lower your uh, threshold. Just throwing it out, dear. Yeah. Far away from the mic. Oh, that could do it too. Isn't it the duty of every good citizen to inform the police? But there had to be another way. The police are excellent at doing their job, so they'd figure it out, right? Yes, they're so good that they couldn't figure out the real truth behind Celeste's death. Oh, that was sarcasm. Miss Andrews. Well, uh, I know you're not the type of person to do something without a reason. So, please. Tell me why you did what you did. Revenge. The Count of Monte Cristo. 